there my friends i hope you guys are doing okay in this video i'm gonna show you the things we can do on samsung dex mode i know i'm pretty late for this but i'm still really excited for this because we know that dex is one of the great features that we can get from tab sx light right so yeah let's just get started the first thing we'll see here is the display and the setup so this is how the display looks like the toolbar at the bottom looks familiar right anyway here as you can see the s10 can still be used here but for the setup i think it is not complete we do not use physical keyboard and the mouse so here i got my logitech keyboard as well as the mouse and i'm going to connect both devices to the tablet so here i press this button to turn on the bluetooth of the keyboard and it goes the same with the mouse so we can just turn on the bluetooth on the screen to connect the devices anyway for the mouse as well as the keyboard both is actually pretty smooth for me to use with the dex mode and it functions the same as how we use it on pc or laptop but i think for the mouse there's a little drawback here which is the cursor on the screen that looks kind of small to me anyway the first thing we have here from the bottom toolbar is the apps icon on the left down corner there's also a recent tool which is the place where we can find current applications that we open at the moment and there's also home and back tool. on the right side we have keyboard as we see here there's also volume tool we also have screenshot where it can automatically shoot the screen if you tap it there's notification mode the quick settings and the ui still looks exactly the same as you can see right there and the last there's also a calendar then here is how it looked like when we clicked the right side of the mouse there's sort by option a screen zoom and wallpaper basically all of the customizing tool for the home screen that i will tell you more about it later on meanwhile if we click again the right side of the mouse onto the app icon it will show the options like this next i'm gonna show you how to customize the home screen so we go to the quick settings tap the text icon go to details and it will show us the settings to customize the samsung text and so here first we have the font size which is obviously customizable and here i prefer in this size the next thing we do is that we can also make changes with the screen size which we already saw earlier Next, we have wallpaper. So for the wallpaper changes that we made here, it will only be applied on Samsung DeX. So if we turn the DeX mode off, the wallpaper in the standard tablet mode will not change. Next thing we have here is this tool where we can hide the taskbar. So if we turn this on, it will make the taskbar disappear. And if we want to make it appear again, we can just hover the cursor to the bottom of the screen anyway the next thing we have here is the keyboard tool and we can just turn on the screen keyboard if we want to here on the mouse tool we have this pointer speed and we can also change which side of the mouse that we prefer to choose as the primary button labs tool here is really interesting and to be honest i'm not sure if it's safe for us to turn it on and i will show you more about this later on and here we also have shortcuts for the keyboard that we can use so here on the display we can obviously change the positions of the applications and make folders just how we do it on the usual device and then here is how the toolbar looks like if we open many applications at the same time so that three dots icon is to see the other application icon that we open at the moment 
So in this section, as the title said, Samsung DAX is known of its multitask. As you see here, the window is resizable and we can also do split screen by just dragging the application to the edge of the screen, just like how we do it on PC or laptop. It also has the ability to have windows popped up for every different applications at once. And here, I'm just attempting to open three windows at once and yep, this is how it looks like. So the next one here, I am experimenting how many applications that I can open at the same time. And here I just choose the applications randomly. And on this, I don't think that there is a limit for us to open many applications at once, which is great. Next is unresizable apps. So before, we already know that we can do multitasking on DAX, but unfortunately, not all applications are resizable and optimized for the split screen. So as you see here, as we drag the windows to the edge, it just won't change because the application doesn't support DAX display. Here is another example, Netflix. As you see, we cannot make the windows to be full screen. And here I show you the other applications that doesn't support text display as well. But there is actually a tool for this case which is the text labs. So here we can just click it. And as we saw it earlier, it said that this feature may cause error, so I do not think it's good for us to use it regularly. But I'm again, I'm not really sure about that. Anyway, as I turned it on, there will be a permission pop up to restart the application, as we can see right here. And we can just click it and there you go we now have our application full screen plus it is also resizable so here there's this one detail which is called open a new window option and unfortunately it is only available for samsung notes and it's not there for microsoft word which i think is another drawback from samsung text Next, I'm going to show you how the Microsoft app look like on Dex mode and the first one will be the Microsoft Word. So, for the display, I think it is kind of different which is obvious because it is an application version and below, I put the picture of the toolbar as you can see there from my laptop to see the difference between them. So, as we can see, the tools from the application version are always available. But if you see it closely, there is just so many options from the bottom toolbar, right? If we see the upper bar there, we also have design bar, references bar where we can use Mendeley or Citation, and mailings bar. And those are not available on the application version. So um, yeah, we can say that the app is almost complete. It is still perfect for a light assignment unless if we want to use citation software like Mandalay for example as it is not available here but here with this text mode we can also add the document file shortcut to home screen which is really useful next one is the powerpoint so the tool is all here from home insert until view and um, I just noticed here that there's no animation panel, which I personally use the most when I'm editing animation with my PPT. And the third here we have Excel, which I actually rarely use it. Oh, also, if you're wondering, I got the Microsoft account for free by signing up with my student email. I got this info from comments, by the way, so shout out to that person. 
Anyway, a little tip here for Google Docs. I heard that if we open it from browser, the tools are more accessible to reach and I personally think it is more complete than the application version. Also, we can add the shortcut to the home screen too. And um, here is the closer look for the differences. We can see that there's a lot of options from the browser than the application, right? So, um, so many of you in the comments asked if the display of these apps will be different if we open it on DAX, and the answer is no. The display, as you see here, is exactly the same as when we open the application on the standard tablet mode. And there are only five people fit on one screen for both Zoom and Google Meet. Alright, so I think that is the end of the journey. Um, I personally think that Dex does the basic light productive things perfectly fine, but if we use it on heavy stuff that we usually do on laptop, then I do not think the device fits because there's just still lots of limitations that we have to face. But how about you? What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.